Get, since you Thank have you, been, I think, one of the most informed researchers on this question, and now you've been to some large extent vindicated, tell us what we know right now about the origins of this virus. Well, we all know now that a bat, solitary bat, did not fly 600 miles from its cave dwelling in uh, another province to the city of Wuhan and land in uh, Everybody now agrees, except for a few uh, uh, marginals, that uh, it escaped from a so-called high containment laboratory. I have to chuckle when I say high containment because obviously uh, it failed at what it was supposed to do. It wasn't level four, it was operating at level two. But, uh, you know, now the question becomes, was it a naturally occurring horseshoe bat coronavirus that was isolated in the Wuhan Institute of Virology and then accidentally escaped from the lab by infecting a lab worker? Or was it a, a virus that the researchers there were working on uh, using gain of function uh, technology. Gain of function means that you take uh, an existing coronavirus and you make it more infectious and more deadly. Now, why would you ever engage in gain of function research? Why would you ever seek to enhance a natural pathogen in this way to make it more deadly and more infectious? Well, the idea of the scientists when they first discovered that they could do these things easily by using recombinant technology was this. We're gonna create superbugs in the lab and we're gonna figure out how to defeat them. We're going to develop uh, in theory, we're going to develop uh, vaccines, we're going to develop therapeutic treatments, and so when the real superbug comes on the scene, we will be ready for it. Well, that's all well and good, uh, and that's all fun and games until uh, you create a superbug in the lab and it escapes before you have a chance to develop a vaccine or a therapeutic treatment for it. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened in just this case, and I'm not saying this is a bioweapon. Quit changing the subject, which is what the other side loves to do. Exactly. I'm just saying was it tinkered on in the lab? And we know that the lab director at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, who was their team leader for virology research, was a woman named Dr. Shi, full Chinese name, Dr. Shi Zhangli, who has been using gain-of-function uh, research for years to create new, more deadly, and more infectious coronaviruses. So Dr. Shi needs to tell us uh, what she was doing and how she was doing it. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party needs to release the secret rep records of the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And then we will all know for sure whether this was a coronavirus in the lab that escaped, whether they were tinkering on it in any way. Now, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not naive in all this. I know that China will probably have already destroyed the records, research records of the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Right. They've been destroying records left and right already. They probably already warned Dr. Shi Zhongli that she is not to talk to anyone about her research. Uh, they've warned other people. Uh, so I don't think we're ever going to have what people are demanding, hard evidence, uh, because the Chinese Communist Party has already destroyed that. Well, of course, of course. And there, there's a reason that they bought and paid for the World Health Organization. Uh, it, it, it's becoming clear. Uh, Mr. Rosa, thanks so much for, for joining us tonight. It's fascinating. I hope you'll come back. Thank you, Tucker. So the question of where the...